as is usual for my weekend. But there was some Fallout 4 in the mix. I'm not going to lie. Anywho, hopping right on into some DD2. Now tonight, I'm going to kind of go through the dreaded, the dreaded Golden Egg Farm. As um, there's not necessarily a huge... Well, there's no benefit to these eggs, really. I've gotten a couple of them already. Let's see, what do we have? See, I get this golden serpentor. I got uh, the golden growled. Why? I don't really know, because I've got lots of other cool pets, too, as you can see here. Uh, I wish I had a few more legendaries, but I do have some. Finally got myself a legendary headless horseman the other day. I took uh, all of my gems, as you see. <laughs> but whatever, I got it. I actually tried to get a uh, auto meow, auto meow, however the hell you pronounce that. I was hoping to get a legendary one of those two. Haven't had such luck yet, but I do have the the mythic anyway. So tonight I'm gonna try to kill a whole bunch of birds with one stone. First off, of course, uh, leveling pets. As you see on my trusty apprentice here, this pet has got a ways to go before he's fully leveled. But leveling pets is wave based. So in onslaught, see, did I put onslaught or incursion in the in the title to this? Let me look. Can't really remember to be honest with you. Oh, I put incursion. Let me change that to onslaught. Don't want to uh, be misleading here. Oh, I put incursion. Let me change that to... Alright, so there we go. That should be squared away now. Anywho. Onslaught is one of the best ways to level your pets. Uh, because it's just wave based it doesn't matter the difficulty of the waves it's just the waves and uh, you need lots and lots and lots of waves which of course onslaught is good for and uh, one of the only reasons to go ahead and get so many waves is to get a golden egg now i'm also going to take the opportunity to suck up some of this experience since um, we're going to be doing you know the easier incursion maps are quite easy so I'm going to go ahead and milk some of that XP. Or you know what? I forgot to unequip his pet. Let's see. Let's get rid of the pet. Get rid of the hero. And then I'm going to bring this monk tank along to uh, suck up the XP. And I'll go ahead and equip that pet on him. Let's see. To make sure... Make sure I get those levels. Now, um, you know, hopefully going to get some upgrades. I did do, I did one, what did I do? The throne room. I think I did one throne room on this guy as the fifth uh, quest for the day. And got him up to level 23. So, going to just go ahead and milk up just a little bit more of the XP. Let's see, I better give him a... Give him a little XP boost. Why is it not letting him take that? I don't know. I think he is actually... I thought he already had it equipped. Let's see. See if I can switch back and forth if that will show it. There we go. I think that was just maybe a little graphics bug there. Anyway, so gonna get some levels on him, gonna get some pet levels, and gonna get myself a golden egg. So let's head on into uh, Onslaught Hard. We're gonna do Siphon Sight D tonight, just because I don't wanna continually do the same old map over and over again for you guys. Uh, I'm doing plenty of that on my own. I don't think it's necessary uh, to record absolutely all of the grind as it is extensive but let's see 
we all know Siphon Sight D got uh, what four entrances plus flyers. Should be fun. We'll see what we uh, So we want to choose pet, of course. Hold on one sec, my my Twitch chat just wigged on me. I uh, unfortunately there we go. At the moment, I am um, I'm reading my chat off of my tablet. That was what it was. My the wire to my mouse hit it. Let me just move that bad boy. Anyway, I um, am temporarily set up in the dining room. Don't have both my monitors going, so I've got my tablet streaming my Twitch chat. And hopefully that will work out. But let's go ahead and set things up here. See, now this map generally only has one magic resist lane. We see that's, that's the magic resist, 55%. Physical resist lanes over here, and just the troll blood with the uh, HP regeneration there. Let's see what do we have down below? We got uh, troll blood on both of those as well, and on the flyers. It's all right. Should still be easy enough. So let's see. Let's go ahead and get set up. This one's a magic resist lane, so I'm going to throw down. Let me make sure I don't still have my. Yeah, okay. I've got the right spheres. Let me throw down uh, a couple of cannons. Got to get my cannonball towers in the mix. I'm going to be using them extensively. In fact, let me check and make sure I've got the right weapon on. I do not. Got a bunch of backup weapons with different passives that I like to use. I wanted to get myself the cannonball stun on this one. What is it called? Shell shock. There we go. I don't even care about the stats on it. I just want to get that uh, shell shot going there for the 15% chance on hit to stun. Not sure if I got to reload that, lay that one down or not. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Anyway, we're going to throw two cannons. I'm unsure. Yeah, I think we'll we'll go ahead and throw the blockade in as well. Now. The blockades here, remember the natural uh, route here, they're going to hug this corner a little bit since they're making a right turn. So we're going to stick our blockade slightly, slightly in towards the inside. And I don't think anything is going to have any problems running past there. But I do want to line it up with that gas leak as well though. So let's see, right on that line there. I think right there will do me just fine. And let's see, let's head up here. Same thing here. I want to line it up with the gas leak. Just in case I end up needing to use it. Same thing here. Slightly towards the inside. And not To be honest with you, I don't think it even really matters. I mean, once you get any sort of nightmare gear, going back to uh, incursion hard... Is, is pretty darn easy. And in fact, I'm just going to stick with cannonballs here because the 55% resist isn't going to make much of a difference. So uh, we're going to throw those in right below here. And the reason being is if the bases aren't visible to these guys coming out, then the ranged mobs aren't going to snipe them. So uh, those two are safe down there. And then we'll throw a blockade in. Let me just go right here. I think it'll be safe as well. Going to go with a blockade down at the bottom of the stairs. Or, you know, midway up, whatever. A couple more cannons. Now these are multi-purpose here. They're, uh, they're going to be hitting flyers as well, which is kind of nice. see so is that all of them I've got that one I've got that one nope or yeah yeah it's all of them huh one two three four perfect 
So let's go ahead and switch on over to the Monk. The Monk's going to be pretty important on this map because there's only one entrance that the Flyers take. And that is going to be directly through there. That's the only Flyer entrance. So uh, our Auras are going to be doing really triple duty here, which is kind of nice. We're going to start off with just the uh, regular Lightning Aura. As close in as I can get it right underneath that torch and then another one out here just as close in I can get it where it will still uh, lay down same thing here we're gonna go with one right there and then we're gonna get two R's gonna try to get them right up on the entrances as uh, you know I want this to go as quickly as possible so I want these baddies just to die and let's see, that one's a magic resist lane. I'm probably not going to mess with that. Let's see, we'll, we'll throw a couple of R's in here. The R's really help out for the, uh, I don't remember what the wave is called, but the wave with the, uh, the little explosive cobalt dudes. <clears throat> Pardon me throat is just wrecked all right so we've got everything covered except the magic resist lane magic resist lane of course is going to be right up here so let me before I switch over I want to throw some uh, LSAs in as well the old lightning strike are still I mean it's still just badass even though it's not what it used to be Still just badass. Gonna throw one in there. One in here, and then one up top. You can get those LSAs a little closer with the lightning auras, as uh, the aura overlap mechanic is not gonna be quite the same. And then we've got the, we've got the Serenity aura passive. The Purge Evil, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw down some purge evil as well I'm gonna try to get it where it's performing double duty a little bit on those flyers below as well and then we'll throw one in let's see where do we want to put this one I guess I'll just put it right there it's still got pretty decent coverage now when we look at our coverage map when we get up into uh, where these flyers are going to be coming through and we see the flyers are covered multiple times over. They're covered up top, they're covered by these R's here, and the tops of these R's are hitting them, particularly that lightning strike R. So that will be nice. Okay, now, see I've got 270 left. I could throw one more Let's go with one more lightning aura, but where do I want it? I don't have anything up here. I guess I could do it here, even though, you know, the magic resist is 55%. It's still not that bad. But it just doesn't make sense to use magic on a magic resist lane. Was there no other physical resist lane? Nope, just those two. That's alright. Why don't we throw... Oop, I never put another lightning strikes R over here. So why don't we just throw another... Lightning R, and that will get me to 240. So now I can use 12 traps. And I know uh, I've got nothing on that magic resist lane yet, so I need to get going on it. So we're going to be putting explosive traps up here, and it's the only magic resist lane, so no big deal. Let's see. Is seven of them going to be enough? Let me go nine. Okay, now three more traps left. I think I've got that 
the physical resist lane is covered really well with those RS. Let's just throw them in right here. This should get the job done. And there we go. Now, what is my weakest lane? I want to say my weakest lane is probably up top here. All it's got is the three auras. You know what? Let me do something there. I don't like leaving that. Yeah, I got the hunter traps, Priestley. Thank you, though. I had uh, I was all prepared. I've never done this map before on onslaught. My other onslaughts I did were on life root, but I've been doing. I've been streaming or on my YouTube channel so much life root lately. I just I couldn't do another one. Let me get rid of that one, and I'm just gonna throw one. Let's get one elemental going up here. And where do I want it? I think right there is probably fine. I just want all this stuff to die. Alright, and we're good there. So let's hop on over to uh, Mr. Monk and start leveling up this pet. Got no gear on this guy yet. I'll, I'll probably pick up some gear here before this thing is over. See what's going to make it through here. Make sure these flyers are... Uh, my little flyer philosophy here is untested. But it's so much RS stacking right on top of that flyer channel. I can't imagine it's not going to hold. Yeah, looking good so far. I'll trim this down. Uh, this is going to take several hours, I think, to get to the golden egg stages. But I'll cut it down to, uh, you know, the money shot for the YouTube channel and make it 15 minutes or whatever. See, everything's just getting smoked by the Zara as it comes out of there. So, Priestley, you, uh, you clearing some Nightmare 4s, are you? I've done, uh, I've done quite a few Nightmare 4 runs now, but I... I haven't been able to complete a uh, Nightmare 4 incursion solo. In fact, I've yet to even complete one in a group. Alright. So let's just beef these up just a little bit. Ensure that everything's going to die there. 703 item power. Holy shit. Very nice. I think my best guy is my... Um, my Traptress is at like 670. That's my best one. I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any 700 pieces yet. I've been really unlucky with my grouping too, which has been unfortunate. In fact, I've been so unlucky with it. I have actually haven't tried many of them. Yeah, I did one incursion where I built. And my, my blockades are, are a little bit soft. You see 251k. Um, my blockades aren't quite ready for it. And, and people didn't repair, so we just got tore up. And then I've done a few other ones with other people's uh, builders where they just they weren't quite ready for it. And they thought they were, and it went poorly. Yeah, well, it'll get its boosts. Every time they have a patch, it gets a big boost. And you know, remember, too, it's still alpha. So I've got a ways to go yet. See, these guys, I don't like these guys dying inside there because I lose all that green mana, but whatever. Could be worse. Uh, legitly, this isn't late game, though. This is uh, farming these golden eggs. Is um, it's like lower middle game, but yeah, I love the game. Let's see, where do we want to throw that? I'll throw it in uh, our damage here. 
So I can't do much of anything at this level. And let's see. We got enough to up something else. We do indeed. Yeah, I've been trying to... Uh, I, I actually have been playing the game a lot, a lot. Hours a day. I'm uh, still in the grind stage. I, I'm not quite to the very final difficulty yet. I'm on Nightmare 4, but I've yet to be able to do Nightmare 4 incursions. Two two hundred and fifty is okay, you say? Legit? I guess people if people are paying attention to repairs, it is probably. But nobody wants to, uh, you know. So many times when you just queue up for an open group, no one, no one wants to actually contribute, which is unfortunate because there's kind of really. Yeah. No point in playing it if you're not going to contribute. But yeah, that's why I've just taken the solo route is because it's it you know, you can do so much on your own and just the time it takes to find a group. So I haven't been able to uh clear more than the first couple of waves on incursion solo. All right. And like I said, I'm just going to get everything up to once. in uh, no real particular order just whatever I come across first I think I can yeah I can do another up from there huh yeah maybe I should uh, maybe I should give it another shot then whoops it's like I said I uh, you know I want to do incursion I just you know, you grind so much on this game and do so much of the same thing over and over again, it gets really frustrating when uh, when anyone brings any fail into the mix, you know? Two hundred and seventy one left. Let me just go ahead and get this moving. I'm trying to get the golden egg as quick as possible. So uh, I can't be doing a whole lot of repairs at the brakes or uh, upgrades at the brakes I need to just up everything as it's going yeah people not repairing is irritating well send me a steam invite there Priestley I'll uh, I'll play with you if you're ever on I don't mind repairing. In fact, that's it's like a major chunk of the game, you know. I don't. That's why I don't understand why it's so uh, difficult to find people to do it. I've been getting really lucky on my. Uh, <laughs> or they upgrade the wrong stuff. Yeah. Leroy. I've been playing uh, a lot. In fact, I, um, you know, I wanted to stream some DD2 tonight. Actually, I put an application in for. Uh, put it. Put in an application. What did we got? What do we got? Let's just throw it in there. You know, I'm on the defense council already, of course, but. Uh, but I wanted to be streaming and you know sometimes maybe stream on the trendy channel but haven't heard a response back yet I'm not sure if they're still looking for anyone or what well this is going a little quicker than life route did I tell you what if you do life route and you set it up like you would normally set up life route this map just takes forever but being able to pretty much squash everything right at the right at the entrances, I think it's going to shave quite a bit of time off of it. Well, 
well, they want to get those walls upgraded early. That way they don't have to repair because they don't want to repair, you know. I mean, obviously, if you get the traps upgraded first, you're going to have more punch. And the walls are going to be taking less damage, but people don't seem to grasp that. <clears throat> I won't be high enough level, I don't think, to up everything to five or up, up it all the way up to a star by the time this is over. I don't believe I'll get enough XP. I've been getting a decent amount, though. What, I went up a level of wave so far. I don't know if that will continue. But that's way better XP than it used to be. I mean, obviously, this is still just not the quickest. This is not the quickest for leveling. I'm just trying to kill uh, lots of birds with one stone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I'll be around for a long time. I, I love this game. I've got what? I think I've got like 500 hours or so into it already. Through all the various uh, patches and wipes and whatnot. See if old Malthus is going to give us a hard time over here. Is he even going to make it to the cannons? Yeah, he's going to make it to the cannons, but they're going to they're gonna munch on him. Die, you bastard. I noticed, too, um, I'm not sure if it's a bug or what, but <clears throat> when you're in the the uh, the map, it's not showing your pet leveling up where it used to. But when you exit out, like it'll, it'll show that he jumped three levels or five levels or whatever. I'm also curious, you know, both times I've done this, I've only gotten uh, one, I got one golden egg at 15. Yeah, unfortunately, I've done the grind a bunch of times now. I mean, I'm happy to be able to, to get to Nightmare 4 again, and obviously I didn't mind doing it because I kept doing it, but it does get old. I've just had I've had really really terrible luck on my squire with uh, I with getting um, you know the hardy blockades at the high percentage. I still got several of them that are are relatively low. All right, dragon egg. Thank you very much. Let's see, what level is he now? See, he's 29. We'll see if it changes throughout the course of this. I have everything here up. I think I'm going to up just a little bit more because this is kind of the weak side. Yeah, it don't take many hours to get you there. Um, I've just, like I said, I've done the grind a bunch of times already. Through, uh, I've been here for two full character wipes. So this is my third time doing it. But of course that last one, even though it wasn't uh, a character wipe, it was like an item wipe. That would be the fourth one, I guess. I don't think there's going to be any more wipage for a while. I'm sure there will be another one. It always seems to be uh, a topic in DD2 so far. Let's see. Let's just go ahead and beef this up too while we're here. A few more ups on these traps. Oh, they just they come from the the food boxes. You'll get them really quick. If you saw my stream last week before that uh, before that update come came, I had like a hundred boxes of pet food saved, <laughs> and uh, I had all of the turkey legs I needed on the first day, just because I had so many pet food boxes saved up waiting to crack open. They actually give they give five thousand XP too, so you, by the end of the month you're going to end up selling them just because there's. You, you'll have so many. 
Yeah, any mode. Any any of the pet food boxes. It doesn't matter what mode or what map or anything. They replaced the... Uh, not the ham. They replaced the cake for the month. And they're, they're pretty abundant. They didn't say anything about up in the the drop rate of them or not ready to necessarily drop rate but the proc chance or whatever from the pet food boxes but they um, y you get a bunch of them that's for sure I don't think I'm going to have to worry about anything through here for a while so I believe everything is at one now. Yeah. Well, I just got to do those dailies, you know. I've got all the Ubers now, but it's just because I've, you know, a couple of those wipes, they let you keep your tokens. So, um, oh, I didn't get a level on that one. It's all right. Anyway, through all those wipes, they let you keep your tokens. So I had, you know, that, and it's a lot quicker now getting tokens than it used to be. You know, doing the daily quests has made it really easy. Quibbly? You're going to die. See, like, yeah, just those pet food boxes right there. Those turkey legs are in there. Yeah, anyway, like I said, I had, uh, you know, it's weird how it works. You, I think you only get one per day, but, <clears throat> like, if you have one started or whatever, and it rolls into the next day, you're able, you're allowed to keep that one. I'm not really sure exactly how it works, but there's been days where I've had three, and there's been days where I've had one, and there's been days where I haven't gotten any. The dailies is the only way to get them. The dailies and the monthly. You don't get them for anything else. <clears throat> Pardon me. Then you can always change, you know. Change the difficulty of the quest. To uh, one of the ones that's going to guarantee you tokens every day. I didn't get one today. A daily. When it, it reset, it, it resets at 9 p.m. my time. I'm on the, the west coast of the U.S. It didn't uh, didn't give me one. More eggs. See if there's um, anything I'm gonna be able to use real quick from the garbage that has dropped. Oh yeah, I can use stuff. Let's see. What do we got? Whatever. Ability power. Oh, that's all I've gotten. <laughs> uh, I haven't gotten anything yet. There's a pole arm for me. There we go. <laughs> oh, my. I guess it is only, uh, you know, just barely into it. Yeah, it's really weird. I, see, like I said, some days it seems like you get a bunch. I'm not really sure what it's based off of, to be honest with you, because... I think it's still a little random and a little buggy. Because like I said, there's been days where I haven't gotten a quest at all. And there's been days where I had multiples. And um, I'm assuming on the multiples it's because quests weren't finished from previous days. But I'm not even 100% positive about that. Yeah, you'll have it, you'll have it completed. I'm uh. <clears throat> If you're already 25 in, you'll definitely have it completed. I'm saving up for my Betsy egg now, since I, I just got my last Uber. I think the last one I got was um, the Sticky Nades. It was the, the last one I was holding out for. I had been using... Um, you know, I've been—I've got a DPS huntress, 
and I've been using the DPS Huntress, but I hadn't been using the sticky nades, and they end up being pretty awesome. Once we get a few more waves up and some more bosses, a few more pieces of gear will drop. I hate to run around completely naked. I don't even know if this blockade, these blockades were necessary. I almost could have gotten rid of them and threw another cannon in. Nothing's touched them yet. I'm sure there's going to be some bosses that touch them, though. You know, particularly in the later, later waves. The sticky nades hit pretty hard. If you've got decent um, ability power and you use that sticky nade, it, it, they're pretty mean. I mean, they hit really, really hard. I don't have my DPS hunters with me or I'd show you. They're not the, they're, it's definitely not the best Uber, I don't think. See, it almost makes sense on the Huntress with uh, the firing ability of some of those bows to go more into uh, crit and try to get your crit chance up instead of focusing on special abilities. But there is no Uber that goes along with that at all. And that's, you know, that's unfortunate. But what are you going to do? Elemental chaos is necessary. I mean, it's what makes it makes the Traptress what she is right now. Being able to handle both the physical and the magic resist lanes. Where'd that one come from? Right there. You can get wrecked, Griblock. Finally, my blockade took damage. I'm all excited. <laughs> I actually, the, you know, back, back several patches ago, it was all about that lightning strike R and the monk. So everybody was getting the lightning strike R one first, and I'm just I, I've got kind of a love for the squire, from the previous games. You know, so I I went with the the uh, bowling balls, and they suck. It's very disappointing. In my opinion, the Squire right now doesn't have a good uh, a good Uber. I'm sure I, I know that more Ubers will come. All right, so that was wave five. I got <laughs> ten more waves to go. Oh, anyway, I mentioned it earlier. All I've ever gotten so far is one golden egg at wave 15. Do you know if... Uh... Yeah, the balloons look cool, too. Um, anyway, do you know if it's possible to get more than one per run? Some of the forum posts say you get one at 15 and one at 25, but I, I've gotten one at 15 and none at 25 before. Let's see, where else do we want to go? I've been buffing that lane up so substantially. The blaze balloons look so awesome. <laughs> I'm, uh, that's probably actually the next set of passives I'm going to farm. Is uh, all the blaze passives. Right now, I've got just generic hunter gear I want, or uh, huntress gear. I want to get the blaze balloon passives, a full set, and uh, then get some poison dart, a uh, full set of those too. I think if you had a full set of the poison dart stuff, you could solo just the uh, just the hunter or huntress. Hey, 
I haven't, uh, I haven't checked on these flyers at all. I guess I haven't seen too many of them coming through. I haven't been paying attention to the mini-map. Yeah, onslaughts are... The only reason you do onslaughts right now are to either level pets or to farm golden eggs. I mean, that's about the only reason worth doing it. In fact, when I get them as the daily, I change it. <laughs> I usually end up switching it to another one, if there's a better one available, of course. I just, um, I haven't done an onslaught on the YouTube channel or uh, on Twitch yet, and that was why I wanted to do it. I had a, a few, few comments and people asking about onslaughts. Fifteen and thirty, huh? Well, we'll see. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'll make it to thirty. Well, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know how far I'm going to make it. I'm going to go as far as I can, even if this turns into a four or five hour stream or whatever. Wife is at work, blowing up my phone. Or no, that was a junk mail text message. God, once you start getting them, they just don't stop. Okay, so this is now my strongest lane. It went from being my weakest lane to my strongest lane because I parked up here for so long. And then I also promised to uh, do some power leveling of subscribers, characters, I'm going to try to do that next weekend. I wanted to, to do it this weekend, but it just didn't, with Fallout 4, it just didn't work out. I was, I had a one-track mind the last several days. Fallout 4, Fallout 4, Fallout 4. So that's how I've uh, spent my last two. I just switched. It's the first game I've, um, I've played, really, on my Xbox One. I've always, I've always, always been a PC gamer. In, in fact, I haven't played, uh, like, a major title on a console, I think, like, since the original PlayStation. <laughs> so I decided uh, to play Fallout 4 on my Xbox One, and, God, I just completely suck at aiming with a controller when you're... When the keyboard and mouse is just completely ingrained into you, the controller is just... bad. <laughs> it's just terrible. Yeah, I guess there's no point in repairing those. Until I get everything upped as far as I can get it, I don't think I'm going to bother with any repairs. This, uh... This monk, will, I think, will be my eighth... Eighth fifty. Once I finally get him there. It's a shame the XP boosts don't keep going past the 105%. And God, I really wish there was a better way to level pets. There should be a mode. You know, even if it's on Onslaught, have, have there be a mode where you can uh, select pet XP or something like that. Mighty Snipers coming up next. Oh, shit. Let's see, we have anything we can use here. So here's a here's a turkey leg. They're like I said, they're pretty they seem pretty common. Anyway, let's see here. I'm just gonna put anything on just to have items on. I'd rather have hero power though. Whatever. Let's see. What am I missing? I'm missing a chest. Where are you, chest piece? 
no chess piece yet. Oh well. Alright, so that top lane is buff. I guess let me work on these cannons a little. Get these things squared away. Uh, I guess it will let me go all the way up. So I'll have everything at, uh, at a full star here by the time it's over. Let's see, let's up that one since it was the lowest. Oh, number six incoming. So many more waves to go. Oh, anyway, yeah, I wanted to check out the uh, flyers here. We got some flyers coming in this time. Let's see how these guys make it. Particularly these little dive bombing bastards here. Yeah, they're getting rolled. There's just, it's a lot of RS stacking going on right there. For something to even make it into where I'm standing is going to be a uh, pretty slim chance, I think. Only level 57 mobs, obviously. It's, you know, not much of a chore. I think I could probably go up to level 100 mobs and the LSA will still one-shot them. I'm not even sure if it'll they'll go that high on this one. I'm sure it will. It'll keep going up. As soon as I get everything to five, then it's just all about repairs. Have any of you guys gone through this full uh, golden egg farming yet? It, it, it's it's hard to to say that it's worth it, worth the time invested. I mean, the amount of time it takes me to get one golden egg here, I probably could have gotten multiple Nightmare 4 upgrades on my other characters. But, whatever. Maybe I'll get lucky on one of these damn golden eggs and actually get something. Get something that's worth a shit. Who knows? That's what I should do now, now that all these are upped. Um, I think everything may be up to at least to two now. No. Still got a few items here and there. I haven't come down here much. That's probably why. I'll get those that bottom upgraded next. I've been focusing on the top here because it hits all three. Or does it hit all three? I think it might just hit the flyers and... Or no, it goes all the way down. Yeah, it hits both lanes and the flyer lane. The golden eggs get you golden pets. Which, uh... I, there's no... True benefit. There's no real benefit with it. But, other than uh, a vanity thing to say you have them. Like, I got this golden serpentor. Instead of a regular serpentor, it's a golden serpentor. Which I don't think at the current time that there's any benefit. I don't think that they um, have any increased stats or anything like that. But you would think, I mean, there's nothing special about them right now other than it says golden on it. <laughs> but you would think at some point they would give people a reason to farm those things. You'd think that the golden pets should be better you would think. I mean, that doesn't mean it ever will be, but why would... Uh, I just don't understand why Trendy puts you through the grind to get these things right now. Getting closer. Yeah, we got an ogre over here now. Is he doing any damage to my blockade? Doesn't look like he's doing anything to it. Barely touching it. These lobby ogres are pussies. It's 
kind of a cooler looking uh, pole arm. There we go. Let's go ahead and equip that bad boy now. It's a it's an upgrade to what I had. This stuff is all junk, you know. One Nightmare Three run or whatever would uh, completely take care of that. I don't understand like the nightmare. You know, I understand the point of of the incursion. You know, having like a final, this is the hardest thing in the game to do. I don't understand Nightmare 3 Incursion because, in my opinion, it's harder to do than regular Nightmare 4. And it drops loot not as good. We got a Buggy Ogre, too. Ooh, getting bitch slapped by the Buggy Ogre. That's all right. His R's are taking him out. Well, level 30. I don't remember what I started at, but I've gotten a bunch of levels so far. Tenacious green skins. I like the ones where it's the big hordes. I mean, they all burn down like they're nothing, but still fun. Go ahead and get this going here. Get some ups on all these guys. In fact, I'm just gonna I'm gonna dump a little bit into this one here right now while I'm here. Just get it all upped. These baddies are just getting chewed up, though. As soon as they come out. Ooh, he made it in. Maybe I should up those ones up stop, up top first. He dive bombed right on top of me. He wouldn't have made it past these R's, too, I don't believe. Maybe. He tried to come get some. see how this guy does. Oh, I haven't upped these at all. The ones up top. Derp. He didn't make it too far. Wonder if some point they're going to push hard enough for me. To use the water trap. That's the best natural trap, I think, in the game. I like that one better than any other ones. So awesome how it pushes them off the edge. Yeah, I think I do need to get, uh, get a little more uppity up here. Got some tougher meanies coming through. I better up that one too. That first one is the one taking all the all the charges being used, but it's destroying everything. <laughs> oh yeah. Wrecking it. I don't want to waste any uh of my green mana on repairs if I don't have to though. In fact, as soon as I get that upped, I'm going to AFK in the middle for a second and go grab another another drink. I wasn't prepared for the stream. I only had one beverage. Going to need another. Let's 
I'm not going to get enough to up it now, so I'm just going to do that right now real quick. Just going to AFK here in the middle, so I will be right back. All right, looks like I made it back just in time there. Healthy Hordes, finally. I like this one. I uh, I like the massive amounts of mobs on the screen. It, it's just pure awesomeness is what it is. All right, so let me get these up top. Fully juiced. Got a little lag going on here now all of a sudden. All right, so that side is fully juiced. I needed to do something. Where was it? It was over on this far side, on that first trap. <laughs> needed to get that bad boy squared away. Yeah. yeah. It looks like this one has taken more pressure than the other side. And away we go. I thought about too doing this on a <clears throat> tougher difficulty, but I mean, since the objective is to just get golden eggs, I want to get to 15 as quick as possible. That that's not even like written anywhere, but every time I've gotten one so far, I've gotten it at 15. So we will see. Big old packs of baddies coming out of there. They're getting rolled. They're not even making it past the first aura. Ooh, there they go. Those guys made it in their little ways. Leveling up. Yep, so far it doesn't look like the blockades were necessary. Just the small amount of damage they've taken, my cannons could have uh, could have taken that damage easily. Oh, we just got that side all squared away. Oh, 
I'm not sure where we want to go next. Probably this side. That, uh... What is that, the LSA? or No, that's the regular lightning aura. It's getting low. The LSA is, uh... I don't have an LSA on this side, huh? The LSAs seem like they don't burn as quick. Well, they have the same amount of charges, I believe, with not, um... Yeah, they hit hard. 40,000. So it's got the same amount of charges, but, like, this one's 2.86 seconds, where the lightning R is only 0.89. So getting, what, a little, just barely over three ticks out of a lightning aura for each uh, LSA explosion. You get your money's worth for the damage per second out of it. That's for certain. I'm going to need 150 to up that one. I probably won't end up getting that much until... Not off of the hordes. The hordes don't seem to drop the big mana. They drop the little mana. <laughs> Definitely need to do something on this side, though, because this side is starting to get low. Lots of little places you can put traps on this map. But with the, it being such a circular map, relatively small in size, like if you put anything, well, you can put stuff on all these pipes here, but if you put stuff on like that big pipe up there, then some of the other guys will shoot at it. Gridlock getting up in my face over here. Oh, punched in the face. You know, it's bound to happen sooner or later. Getting too ballsy <laughs> with my naked or partially clothed character. <laughs> Can no longer call him naked, but he is partially clothed. Yeah, these ogres ain't gonna do nothing. Need to get those cannons up all the way now that the ogres are pushing through. Oh, damn. I got punched in the back of the head and then backhanded in the face. <laughs> or I could have put a trap right underneath the bear, right in front of the blockades. Well, don't you dare walk over that blockade now. They're never going to get through it. This was, this must have been the physical resist lane. Or no, I don't think it was physical resist. Or no, those cannons are hitting it hard. Yeah, I think everybody does, Leroy. To hell with the daily onslaughts. Alright, let's see. What did I need up here? I forgot. I think it was this side. And then I'll dump the other 600 on this side, I think. Two hundred left. Let's see. I got everything up top here. All juiced. Let's see over here. Don't want to have something happen and lose this side, that's for sure. With the pressure valve over here. Yeah, this is uh, <laughs> this is the only onslaught stream you will see me doing. Unless, uh, you know, I can't say that because down the road there might be some awesome changes to make onslaught more doable. Like in uh, in the original. With the survival.
These guys are getting wrecked. Guess I'll have to do that one next. I'm getting pretty close to not having to do anything but upgrades. Let me see. Did I ever get those up top? Oh, let's throw another one on that. Yeah, this is just some massive lightning aura stackage. Uh, brutal. I am drinking a Blue Moon. <laughs> a uh, kind of a light beer. Lighter. It's, uh, well, it's a wheat beer, I believe. Out of the bottle, though. Don't have that little orange slice to go on top. Dang it. I did it again. My mouse. My mouse scrolls off the chat window. <laughs> or my mouse cable hits the my tablet. And it closes my chat window. Anyway, it's back open. But yep, having myself a blue moon. I'm actually having two. Since you ask. <laughs> Well, I got two out of the fridge this time. It's my night off work, and it's, what, 1.40 in the morning, and the wife works until 6 a.m. So I'm going to have a couple of uh, refreshments. Depending on how long this takes, I might uh, take a short break after I get a golden egg and then come back and do something a little different. I'm not going to be streaming any Fallout 4. I'm playing it, but I'm playing it for me. And uh, that and I know people don't want to see uh, RPG Let's Plays. So I'm not going to bother streaming it. I'm just playing it for myself. I may end up uh, doing something down the road, but don't anticipate it. The flyer's still holding up okay? Yeah, no problem. Got nothing dropping into the the red yet on uh on the mini map. See how this side's holding up here. Oh, it's good. Piece of cake. Yeah, Blue Moon is not my my favorite beer, but it's a uh, it's a good neutral. I don't know, it's a good neutral lighter beer. You can drink it or eat it with anything. Come on, ogre, what you got? Need this ogre to get go down here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't want to die again to ogre punch to the face. Yeah, I took an extra day off this week to play a little Fallout 4. I normally have to work on Tuesday nights. But not today. God dang. Getting lots of junk littering the floor now. I'm sure the higher, uh, the higher I get in waves, the more junk I'll have. I'd love to see more than one golden egg. I don't want to, uh...
I definitely don't want to do this too many times, that's for sure. Let's see, let's get this side squared away here. Oops. Yeah, that's good enough for this side for now. Cannons are good. Those flyers are starting to get a little meatier. So, uh... Go ahead and get those upped. And I guess maybe up these cannons, too. Alright, Priestley, have a good one. Thanks for swinging by the stream. Five more waves, and uh, hopefully I'll be in possession of a golden egg here. Have to see how long... Uh, I'm pretty sure this is probably the quickest way to 15. I'm, you know, I haven't tested that or really researched it, to be honest. But I'm pretty sure this is probably the quickest way. Anybody that pops in late watching this, uh, I will, um, you know, I'll put hack it up into two videos for YouTube. I'll do the the TLDW version and just throw the whole stream over there. But then I'll also hack hack it out to just the money shot, getting the golden egg at the end, and put that up as well. I don't think I have enough patience to go all the way to wave 25. And uh, from what I'm reading anyway, if you get one at 15, you're not going to see another one until wave 25. But I'm not... None of that has been confirmed by Trendy. And it's the information on the... On the internet is a little... Incomplete. Imagine that, huh? What are the mob levels now? At wave 10, let's see. Anything else makes it out the door. Nothing's been making it outside of the entrance with uh, with all the upgrades in. Here we go, something will make it here. See, level 81. See, so yeah, I'll get to level 100 mobs, but that's still gonna be, I mean, level 100 mobs are a joke. In Nightmare 4 gear, or in I'm in actually in mostly nightmare. Th I'm in nightmare three and four. I'm in mixed gear. But even in just nightmare one gear, this would be pretty easy to do. Yep, not enough for any more ups yet. Oh, I should look at my look at my pet. I didn't look to see if it had uh, actually if it's displaying any of his levels or if it's not going to do that until I get out of the map yeah I should have put a trap right down by those blockades to handle uh, any of the ogres and whatnot to come in. Just having the cannons go on it makes it a little bit a little slow. I have definitely chosen a poor place to set my tablet down. Because I just closed the chat window again and had to reload it. 
see, Malthus is going to get rolled, but the ogres, they, they take a little bit longer. you think I'd be doing more damage than that. Well, 8,000 per whack. With uh, two of them there, that's not exactly the quickest. What is that, 16,000 damage every two seconds? I don't have any attack speed going. No attack speed going. Alright, we got the Tenacious Hordes again. Starting to get some cooler gear. I wonder if I got any, uh... Got a chest piece yet. I had to have, huh? Defense power, hero health, and whatnot. Not a good chest piece in the mix. Here's a... This is the best one I've seen so far. All this is still junk, of course. Oh, I wanted to look at the pet. That's right. Yeah, still 29, so it's not showing any of uh, the pet levels that I've gotten here. It won't show them until we exit the exit the map. I don't believe. Oh, the upgrading is so slow with no passives. Alright, that's all for those guys. Get these R's bumped up a touch. A little lag spike there. Guess it could be worse. Definitely getting there. My cat's being very noisy tonight. He wants some attention. Come on, Blitz. Damn cat doesn't want to jump on your lap or on the desk until you hit the record button or the stream now button and that's like uh, the invitation to jump on up and say hello you know can I make that nope get enough for another up oh, no I thought there was some of the big gem mana gems were up there Nah, well, it, there's mixed information about it there, Mr. Fishu. They, um, it, as far as my experience goes, you get one for level 15 if you choose that you want the pet rewards for doing Onslaught. Once you pass uh, complete 15, you'll get one. We'll see if I get one here. Uh, so far, every time I've done it, I've gotten one at 15. People are on the internet are saying that... It's you get a chance of getting them at 15 or something, but other people are saying they got them at 14, and other people are saying they didn't get them till 16. So there's kind of mixed information, and there's nothing confirmed uh, by Trendy at the moment on when you get them. So as far as I know, I'm going to get one in uh, what four more waves here. I'm going to let it go a little bit past that, but I don't know how much patience I'm going to have for it, to be honest with you. getting closer and they are going quick you know this one although it's my favorite the tenacious hordes or whatever because there's so many mobs it does take a little while for all these mobs to come out and die almost a thousand of them another griblock I 
I'd probably, uh, I, I think I would definitely suggest putting a trap, at least at this blockade. And an ogre. I'm going to go ahead and get out of the way for the ogre here. He's punched me in the face enough times. Mm, wow, lag. Die, Mr. Ogre. It got me from all the way down there. The ogre's got the hacks. That dirty bastard. Where was that ogre? He was up here. I wonder what that sparkly thing is that dropped there. Check that out here a second as soon as this ogre's dead. No, oh, just a po mythical pole arm. I don't think I ever noticed the a little electrical currents coming off of it before. Just another dragon egg. Where am I hearing? No, I didn't get this month yet. I'm hearing something in the background. I don't know what the hell it is. Yeah, I haven't finished this month yet. I've got, uh, what, I still gotta do the win without losing an objective and earn, uh, 26 more wyvern tokens. Oops, wrong spot to put them, but it doesn't really matter at this point. Get some more ups here. Yeah, anyway, I got the volume on my TV turned down. And I'm just hearing. Maybe it's someone out in my neighbor's yard or something. awful late for the neighbors to be out, but it's their yard. They can do whatever the fuck they want. <laughs> yeah, the turkey leg is a joke. Alright, this is definitely coming off my tablet. So I'm going to close out chat here for a minute. In fact, I'm going to close out all my running applications here and reopen it. I opened somebody else's stream, I think, on accident, and I could hear them talking in the background. I knew I heard something. Don't know if you guys could hear it. All right, I got chat loaded back up. Yeah, Mr. Fish, you, I don't remember, know if you remember all those pet food boxes I had. That I was saving up for the monthly quest to start. <laughs> but uh, it paid off. I had, actually it was overkill. I had so many boxes that um, I completed that portion of the objective in the first two minutes of the quest being in circulation. <laughs> Need to get me a better weapon on this monk. And then again, right now, it doesn't really matter as squishy as he is. I guess I should dump... I should have been dumping this into hero health, maybe. Instead of damage, because I know I'm not doing shit for damage anyway. That one had gotten low. I didn't notice it flashing red on the minimap. It had to have been, though, as low as it was. Oh, I never upped that one yet all the way yet. I'll have to get it next. And I still need this blockade. Those two cannons. I'm getting close to everything being at a full star. Do the full loop here and see. I got a couple more here. Got those cannons in. What about down below? They're all the way. These are all all the way. 
Got to keep the R's in front repaired up. Easy to uh, to not pay attention to them. This better give me a golden egg at 15. <laughs> if it doesn't give me a golden egg at 15, I'm going to be very, very pissy. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty much, uh, even with the, the bosses coming out and going down to the blockades, it, it pretty much doesn't matter at this point. Everything's going to get wrecked. It's just a matter of uh, how long it's, it's going to take to do it. I don't think anything's going to make it through any of these blockades. I guess I didn't really need to waste that DU there since I'm going to be up in those guys. Here we go. Up that one in the back since it needs a small repair or two. Get myself a free repair out of the mix. Number 12. Ugh. Slowly edging closer. Definitely gets real easy just to, uh, you know, if you're going to farm these things seriously, it's just it's too easy just to watch TV <laughs> but like I said right now there's no benefit really in having it other than to say you have it I'm sorry about that bump my mic stand anyway the I hope they change it I mean right now they're a pointless a pointless addition that's 100% vanity to the game. But the pets, I mean, I don't know. I had assumed, to be honest with you, before I cracked my first golden egg, that because it's a golden egg, it would be like instant legendary. But that is not the case. I'm half tempted to move some of these traps back to the blockades. I probably won't, but I'm half tempted to. Alright, there's 12 out of the way. Getting closer. Still not showing any ups for my pet, is it? Nope, still saying he's 29. All right, now what did I need? I had everything down here, didn't I? Yep. Can't remember what I needed to up still. I think I got that one Aura upstairs here to do too. Get the rest of these repaired while I'm at it. Yeah, just this one. One Lightning Aura up there. This uh, this inside lightning aura is hitting everything, so it's going down quicker than any other any other defense on the map. All right, so everything is fully upped and repaired on that side. We're good over here. We're fully up there and on those. I think this is it. This uh, this side over here, maybe. Three more right here, but I should have enough to get these guys up right right now.
See, let's throw it into hero health there. Get my health boosted up just a little bit. Damn cat. Go away. Go away, damn you. God, he has always been like this. It's a little Siamese cat. When it was a little kitten back in the day, I, he would climb up. You know, it was so tiny. He would sit, like, on the corner of my desk and watch me while I was streaming. Or recording or whatever. But then he started uh, deciding he wanted to hit keys as well. And it was not near as entertaining for me as it was for him. Yeah. I was kind of uh, surprised they didn't go with it just to uh, make it the same, you know, as DD 1 and 2 with the triple stars. You would think, uh, you would think they would have, but this is what we got now, so I'm sure there's still going to be uh, lots of different mechanical changes and stuff like that in the game. You know, how much more will change? I mean, who really knows? I think now at this point it may be... Uh-oh, uh-oh! Oh! Bad jump. I think, um... I think at this point it might be down to just balancing and then more maps and content. I haven't had anything get up on there for the gas leak yet. Oh yeah. Oh, I should have used that for the damn bosses. Derp. I knew there was a reason I put those blockades there. Yeah, I'm sure there will be. I mean, there's going to be more, more maps. And there will certainly be more difficulties. This isn't the final say on how difficulties are going to go for this game. I'm confident of that. 55,000, I'll wait till the ogre gets up here. Oh, that gas trap's not doing shit. It's only hitting him for 86. <laughs> I think. That's what it looked like. Unless that was something else. Nah, I don't see those numbers scrolling anymore, so I think that was... That was it. I mean, the whole incursion onslaught end game. I, I, I don't think that at release that's going to be what these difficulties are called. I mean, it may be. Who knows? But I think uh, everything will be named. You know, Nightmare 1 through Nightmare 4. It seems to me like once you get to Nightmare, you should be at the end, you know? All right, two more to go. Troll Blood Snipers. Let's see, did I have everything up over here? Yep, I do. Get a couple of uh, quick repairs in the mix. Just those two are the only ones that were getting low at all, I believe. Yeah, it's easy to forget. I mean, there's... You know, with the accessibility to play it now, basically where anyone who wants to can play it, you would think that the game wasn't in alpha. Ah, down the road, you never know. I mean, look at the original, how far it came into. You know, it could... The sky's the limit with the difficulties. And, you know, making it a free-to-play model, I'm sure that they're going to keep adding difficulties onto it to keep people interested.
I am glad that they didn't make it pay to win. I mean, so far, the any money that you spend on the game is 100% vanity. There's been uh, nothing, nothing at all that you can buy that makes you succeed at the game. Now, down the road, I'm sure, once boosts and things like that go into play, maybe. Where, where it's still not pay to win, but it's pay for convenience or whatever. I don't know how they're going to handle boosts, like XP boosts or whatever. Hopefully they do XP and loot boosts. Like, uh, I liked I liked that setup in Dungeon Defenders Eternity. In fact, there's a couple of new maps in Eternity that weren't there the last time I played it. Like, my favorite map in the original Dungeon Defenders, I think, was, uh, had to have been the King's Game. I really, really enjoyed that one. And the King's Game is, I believe it's in Dungeon Defenders Eternity now. And I've, I've yet to play it. Gonna have to, though. Yeah, not bad, considering he was almost naked. <laughs> and he's only got random gear on. Throwing points into their hero health makes a... <laughs> makes a huge difference. Especially at the low levels. Everything getting rolled everywhere. See, it's to the point now where it's starting to drag and get uh, a little boring. There's really nothing I can do except when when bosses come out and that you know that makes it a little bit boring when there's nothing for you hmm I don't know there Mr. Fishu I mean it's an awesome game if you're ready to put a bazillion hours into it I would say yes, go for it. In fact, let me look at something real quick here. I'm tabbed out for a moment. Play the cards, the Steam trading cards must have went live today because I've all of a sudden I've got a shitload of them in my my Steam inventory. <laughs> Let's see. I tell you what, Mr. Fishu. Add me on Steam. Add me and tell me what your name is here in chat. Just let me know when you did it. I'm not sure. I think I got those pop ups disabled. Thirty-six. Uh, all right. So the getting one at the end of wave fourteen is uh, not really happening. Seventy-four hundred health. Oh yeah. Oops. Did I forget to upgrade anything <laughs> last time around? No, add me. Add me on Steam. Juice bags. Send me a Steam invite. I've got something for you. Supersonic Tyrant. <laughs> That's awesome. Did you send me a, a Steam invite yet? I don't think I have anything left to upgrade. Maybe that was the problem. Am I to that point already? Well, it is wave 15. You get there a lot earlier on uh, some of the other maps. I normally do Nightmare 1 Life Route when I do this because you get a little, little bit higher quality gear. 
And then, of course, that in turn makes it... Uh, so you make a little bit more coin out of it. All right. There you go. Hypersonic Tyrant. I just happen to have several of those Dungeon Defenders collectors uh, gift items in my inventory that were sitting. I thought that I had I thought that I had one. So just because you've been uh, coming to all these DD2 late night streams, I'm gonna go ahead and send you one here. Let's see, what was it? Hypersonic Tyrant. All right, there you go, man. You are the proud new owner of the Dungeon Defenders collection. And I am 70% full on inventory. Anyway, you can get it downloading right now. It's, uh, it is, I mean, it's where this game came from, and it's an awesome game of that. There is no doubt at all. And there's actually, there's a community development team now of players that are developing new content for it. I have yet to check it out. I mentioned it in my stream last week, but uh, their first addition to the game so far has been traps that actually work where you can build... Um, as a gesture, which is pretty awesome, because uh, you know, I mean, the gesture was always it was always my favorite DPS class, but it wasn't a builder at all. And uh, they made those presents, so it's uh, a little bit more usable now. Yeah, Mr. Fishy, no problem. See, I recognize your name from last week. I was gonna. I'm gonna do a giveaway on the channel here to clear out my Steam inventory. Definitely before the Steam holiday sale comes, because I always end up loading up a bunch of, on a bunch of stuff and then practically never, never even playing half of it. So I got just a ton. Just a ton of. Uh, of stuff starting to build up in the old inventory. All right, so this should be it. At the end of this wave, I should get myself a golden egg. Yeah, I know, man. I know you've been loyal. And I appreciate it. Always coming by the streams and stuff. That's awesome. Yeah, I focus mainly on the YouTube channel. I've been streaming more uh, lately, and I'm going to start now that YouTube is making its... Uh, streaming a little bit more friendly. I'm going to start streaming on YouTube. Right now, um, other than just getting my name out and, you know, my goal, of course, is to build the YouTube channel. And, uh, you know, eventually I'd absolutely love to be to the point where I could do this full time, but I'm so far away from that now. So really, I stream on Twitch just really, to be honest with you, just in hopes of... Uh, picking up some new subscribers on YouTube. I don't anticipate I'll ever be a Twitch partner. Their requirements are high. But it is, uh, you know, Twitch is obviously the the easiest, most convenient source to stream to. By far. Oh, he's actually getting uh, a little damage done to my blockade there. As long as I don't get a blockade walker going over it, I won't have a problem completing this. Yeah, there's one down. I think that's the first legendary that dropped during this run. That's pathetic. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, ideally, I'd love to do both, but um, like right now, I'm a I'm a YouTube partner. Now that doesn't mean I make any money because I make very very little. I do make some money, but it's it's practically nothing. It's so nowhere, not even a small percentage of what I spend every month. There we go, golden creeper egg. So, wave 15 is the trick. 
I'm going to go ahead and let this run uh, a few more waves and see if I get lucky and get another one. But it's looking like wave 15 was it. You know what? In fact, I'm not going to. I'm just going to call it good here and uh, delete these and get out because I want to hatch that damn creeper. <laughs> See, anyway, I was always under the assumption that a golden egg meant that it was instantly going to be legendary. And I thought, well, hey, how awesome would that be? Then you could even spend gems. If you spend, uh, you know, maybe if you spend gems, you can transform that egg into something beautiful. <laughs> See, I think this is going to be the easiest side to, to get rid of here. So I'm just going to sell off all my defenses over here and let them roll right on in. I'm not going to just leave the match because, I, and I may be way off here, but I left the match once after getting to 15 before and my pet didn't get any of his levels. So I like to let the match, the match finish. Level 39 Huntress, huh? Yeah, get that bad boy to 50. There we go. Water Reservoir under attack. Get on in there and blow it all up. Are they going to do enough damage to get it over with? I don't think they're going to. Going to have to go to the next wave. Or no, there it goes. Awesome. All right, let's get out of here and hatch this bad boy. Anyway, I was, uh, you know, what I'd always thought was if the golden egg guaranteed that it was going to be a legendary, maybe you could, you know, go ahead and spend gems and transform it into another egg type and then guarantee yourself a legendary of one of the specials. You got 20 levels from Wyvern Stanhard? Yeah, you get, well, I got 23 on this guy from uh, Throne Room. All right, let's hatch this thing. See, I got up to level 32 here. It didn't show it during the match. But uh, I increased three pet levels. Got my defense power over 200 there now anyway. But let's see. Okay, we got a gold creeper egg. See, there's not even a legendary option uh, pet. Now, there is like this golden fairy creeper mother I don't think that's oh yeah that's a potential from a regular egg now I just haven't seen that one yet one of the newer ones anyway let's hatch this bad boy see what we get nice it's a blue one there's the golden fairy creeper mother sassy little bitch there isn't she See what uh see what she looks like. Well the graphic looks nice on it. Oh yeah. Cool looking little pet there. Yeah, it's not the you know, who knows? You know what? I might actually use this one on one of my one of my alts. See what its damage looks like. Wow, it actually does decent damage for being a, a level 1 pet. Not too shabby. Anyway, there we go. The Golden Egg Farm was successful. So anyway, I'm going to take a short break, call it good there for now, and uh, come back later with something else. I'm not sure what I'm going to play. Uh, might be some DD2, might be some Defense Grid. I'm uh, unsure at this point, but after I...